going guys this is actually the second time trying to film this video so instead of basically um, I guess getting rid of the clips that I originally had so again you're gonna see obviously change the outfit change the day it was just way too windy last time we were filming this video this video is basically just explaining very quickly I know a lot of you guys especially on Instagram want to know about my 2015 Toyota Tundra Platinum and the whole reason why we are going to keep this specific truck over upgrading to a 22 or a 23 a lot of you guys are saying why do you put so much work into it it's because i love this truck perfect the 5.7 is literally all i need i don't need a diesel truck for right as of right now it tows my boat perfectly fine it tows all my cars perfectly fine and now that we are out in florida whether i'm at the range or i'm going fishing like i am today and literally everything i need in a daily driver there are some key upgrades that i want to talk to you guys about uh, regarding this truck to kind of just spruce it up make it look you know visually aesthetically more personable and my liking and also the one flaw that i thought toyota had regarding their tundra a company helping us out especially for our 1200 mile road trip moving from new jersey to florida uh, hopefully some of the mods that i have on my truck can help you with your uh older second gen i can't even believe i'm calling older but um your second gen toyota tundra we have our con size they're the 17 by 9 zero offset a lot of people are asking me on threads on how i fit the 17 by 9s with the zero offset on the actual truck itself without rubbing do have a body mount chop here and with the bilstein 5100s being lifted all the way up with a one a plus one shim from coach builders it gives me enough lift not amazing lift but it gives me enough lift to clear and it only rubs on some of the fender liner my wife drives this truck out here in florida because i just feel like it's a lot safer especially with the baby that i needed to get these steps so they're the automatic amp research steps which i really hate steps on trucks i honestly love the way that the tundra looks without it it looks like it has a little bit more muscle to it with especially with the 34 and a half tires it's really not that bad installing it yourself routing it and running the wires myself i'm not i ain't no you know automotive mechanic if anything i'm a hobbyist and it was really you know just laying under laying on the floor kind of sucked but other than that it wasn't it wasn't really that bad in the rear we have same same thing bill steam 5100s in the rear um we're running our falcon wild peak i didn't say the tires but we're running our falcon wild peak i'm running a 34 inch tire in the rear it grips up perfect and with our 1200 mile road trip it it was perfectly fine we were averaging around 13.5 mpg highway um it really wasn't that bad between 13 and 15 towing a boat um and all our, our basically my wife and i's apartment loaded in the boat so it was some uh, heavy weight that we were hauling these are auto saver 88 tail lights i freaking love these things man and they're really not that bad and they really don't hurt the bank but there's just something about blacking out the tail lights and having that super bright led when it does i'll show you guys how it looks at night but it has some super bright red leds that pop out and you can see it a mile away i also picked up on amazon the blacked out third brake light and it's super bright when it comes to it i love it for sure stock exhaust i don't feel like i needed a trd or anything crazy like that uh, we're coming back to the front again the auto saver 88 uh, towing mirrors i freaking love them man like I, it's a hit or miss when it comes to towing mirrors just because sometimes your blind spots it really doesn't help as if anything i feel like sometimes they zoom in too much and um you're kind of relying more on your we have our bullet amazon antenna it's already like i don't even know what color it is but the tip of it it turned into a bronze we got our aux beam three inch uh led pods they're perfect our freedom off-road upper control arm it literally fixed all our issues where we had positive camber on the truck so with the freedom off-road upper control arms you feel the road it feels like a car now it feels like a sports car where you, when you do go off road like especially this dirt road and you're hauling ass you feel a little bit like you have a little bit more control instead of that slop that you usually get with like you know your poly bushings and stuff like that we have our go go recon headlights we're gonna look 
mess with some headlights. I like them, I think they look great, but I do get a little bit of condensation on the top and it's kind of getting some type of discoloration. It's probably from the Florida sun. One with the TRD Pro um, grill, I like it. Just gives it a little bit more personable look on the Platinums. Uh, the other, the Platinums kind of look like more of like your older style Corollas. Not knocking it if you have it, it's just not my vibe. Got an aux beam 42 inch um, in there. And then I got an aux beam, I believe that's a 32 inch LED bar in the grill. But the top LED bar is the 5D Pro from aux beam. They are super bright. Hopefully I can get and show you guys a video of how it looks, but I don't need to drive with any of these other lights, especially on this road. It's about, all I need is that one top beam. Just to show you guys how bright the aux beam 5D lights are, we're gonna shut off my, so I got my DRLs just running. All my other lights are off and then we're gonna turn on. It's insanely bright. Go inside the truck. I need some more interior modifications, but my steering wheel was always crap man um the leather steering wheel that comes on the tundras they always have the cheapest leather uh upgrading some of your interior like your steering wheel is definitely a necessity we ran with um i'm gonna plug their link below they hooked me up with a carbon fiber perforated uh, leather steering wheel. And the one thing that I was saying before that it was necessary to upgrade was this Linkswell Tesla screen. But this is the T-Style Lite. If you're a guy like me where all you use is your phone and and you have all those expensive subscriptions like Spotify, Apple Music or anything like that and that's all you're using and Google Maps, I don't really use my radio. I don't really use Sirius. So if you just want a bigger iPad style Tesla screen. The T-Style light from Linkswell has been perfect for me. From my 1200, road, uh, 1200 mile road trip, I keep bringing that up. It's just a lot of miles on this truck and it was a lot of hours on this truck. I believe it took me about 23 hours just to drive down here with a boat and trailer. And honestly, it, it felt like a breeze. Uh, we have our aux beam eight gang switch that's right over here. I've only filled up five of them with uh, some of the pod lights and the light bars. We have our Princeton roof rack, which I honestly thought it was just more aesthetics, but now that um, I have a child, uh, the things that I want to have easy access to where I don't want to open up my tailgate or open up my um, uh, tonneau cover, it's really nice to have that up top, especially when we go to the beach and stuff. Uh, we put all his uh, stuff in one bag and or we put him in the Rome cases and then his stroller and everything is up there hooked up to the Prince rack. I don't get a lot of wind noise. I only get a lot of wind noise when I uh, close the sunroof cover. But um, yeah, other than that, it really isn't too much of a, a pain in the ass, you know? Um, you get a little bit of wind noise. I mean, that's just with anything. You mess with aerodynamics, you put a light bar that's, you know, big as hell up front, it's gonna make some noise, uh, but it, it's perfectly fine for. This truck rides great. I love my Tundra. The back seat is huge, so that doesn't fit in the back or fit on the roof rack. I could always just pull the seats up and throw everything in the back. Um, just got back from the gun range this morning, and I had no problem putting a big rifle case and uh, a bunch of ammo and stuff like that in the back seat. So it was perfectly fine for me. The next video I'll come out with will be the boat video. I know you guys have been questioning that, and then also to the super video. Uh, I know I haven't been around. I kind of just moved to Florida and. Uh, I'm just kind of winging it right now, but I definitely wanted to update you guys and get you guys a video out there. So please like, share, subscribe. Thank you guys so much for sticking around and watching our videos. If you haven't watched our videos prior and you guys love the automotive community and stuff like that, and you want to see a little bit more into the JDM scene and whatnot um, in New York, New Jersey area, uh, definitely look back in the older videos. But if you want to see some of the newer stuff that we got going on in Florida, I'm going to do my entire best to just come out with as many videos as I can a month and uh, also come out with a life update video soon. So um, just wanted to thank you guys for sticking around. God bless you. I hope all is well and we'll look forward to making the next video. Love you guys. Talk to you guys soon. Peace.